Hi there everyone, today's review is going to be on Womanity by Terry Mugler. This perfume was released in the year of 2010 and was created by the perfumers at the Man Lab. I have all three different ad campaign posters, the first one I'll put up right now. That one just pretty much shows the fragrance bottle, it's an announcement of the fragrance. It's probably in magazines, you know, before its release, something along those lines. Now I'll throw up the second ad right now. As you'll see, the second ad now has women on it, so, you know, it's tying in with womanity somewhat now, I suppose. And now on to the third ad. Now the third ad, I mean, take a look at that bitch in the middle. She is just, doesn't that look like the bitch that just is mean to everyone? Uh, that's the kind of vibe I get from her. The other two just seem like they're kind of her cohorts in crime. I don't like the third ad so much just because of the woman in the middle. Terry Mugler, please... Don't make your women creepy anymore. It's not it's not flattering. <laughs> the main accords in Womanity as described on Fragrantica are woody, fruity, savory, animalic, nutty, and sweet in that order. <laughs> you guys are all out of whack. That's not even I don't understand that. The three notes in this fragrance, although there is a lot more synthetics listed on the actual box, I would get into that, but that would spoil the whole essence of it. Surprisingly enough, there's Kumarin in this, which is a hay-like smell, but I don't really get that so much. So we'll just avoid reading into the synthetics, and we'll actually look at what Mugler says is in it. According to Mugler, there is figs, caviar, and fig tree wood. I also get popcorn, subject to opinion. Um, you and I aren't going to smell the same things, even if we wanted to. I had the three ingredients listed at the beginning of my video. You can see them. Uh, that was the start along with the Womanity ad music. Now a lot of people on Fragranica compare this to Womanity Le Gaute de Parfum. Good job guys. I, I would hope that it would smell kind of close. Somebody else also compared it to M by Mariah Carey. Never smelled that one. Probably never will. Now let's get into really how the perfume was created, how the main three accords that Mugler says is in the perfume were created. I know for a fact that they uh, contracted through the man company who has patented a type of molecular extraction where they, they put the ingredients into this tube with a liquid gas and the gas literally extracts all of the odiferous molecules out of any ingredient which contains odor into a liquid and work with reconstructing it synthetically from there and it breaks it down for them into you know what what they need to do and there's a whole video I'll put the link down here um, for you guys to go and check that out it's really interesting how this perfume was created I hope it wouldn't smell like bleach but before I get too far into the scent let's back up a little bit and look at the presentation and the and the look and feel of the bottle and whatnot it'll take a little while to do that trust me all right first off we have the box all right, the box is very plain on the front. It says Womanity by Thierry Muglet. It is a vaporizer, resourceable, refillable spray, eau de parfum, 1.7. This also comes in a 1 ounce and a 2.7 ounce. Thierry Muglet on the side, very nice, very nice. We have Womanity on the other side. And a little story on the back. Womanity, a woody, sweet, and savory eau de parfum. A refillable and ecologically responsible fragrance. See inside packaging. Womanity, a fragrance, a bond, and energy shared by all women. And it comes in three different languages for you to try to decipher there. And you can go to womanity.com. On to the bottle. I love this bottle. It looks sort of like something as tecular, if that's even a word. Uh, Mayan, religious, stunning, definitely. Uh, a beautiful undoubtedly uh, the silver is blackened on the inside and very shiny on the outside and like a matte finish the whole the whole uh, metal is like a matte finish then we have a collar here which is supposed to signify the bond between all women and whatever I don't care Mugle 
Okay, here is the thing, and I always put it on my finger before I spray it. Let's go ahead and smell the scent. We're gonna dig into the bottle a little more while this dries down because this perfume is very oily and takes a very long time to dry on the skin. Now in order to refill this, you see these little grooves right here? You just want to twist right there, lefty loosey, righty tighty of course, and the whole thing will pop out. <laughs> Be careful because if you don't have a firm grip on this thing when you are unscrewing it, your perfume will be everywhere except in the bottle. And that is definitely not what you want with this one because it is fucking strong. Which leads me into the scent. Let's give it a smell. Like I described earlier, there's that candied, salty, woody something in there, assisted by some kind of popcorn, sunny smell. It's very linear and it's very nice. There's not a lot to say about it. It's different than everything on the market. It is a floral fruity, but keep in mind this this creation is very strange because of it did use the molecular extraction technology from the man company to accurately recreate all three main accords of this fragrance. So you're going to get a very true synthetic, and that's actually rather exciting in, in today's world of you know, laundry type the fruity florals with white musk for women that have been coming out. This thing is very different. I would give it a try. Great release by Mugle. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely as great as Alien and Angel. A lot of people in Fragranica suggest this smells like a dirty pussy. I really don't. I've never smelled a dirty pussy. But if a dirty pussy smells like this, so help me God, I want to eat one right now. So... If your dirty pussy smells like womanity, you better bring it over to my house because I want some, okay? Well, that's the end of this review. Womanity by Terry Mugle. Apparently, it smells like a dirty pussy. I think it smells great. Bye.